Tis the season in Philadelphia. Love Park has been transformed into a Christmas village. The authentic German market is made up of more than 50 wooden booths, selling things like jewelry, ornaments, and food. One such vendor is Lisa Yetzi. She's been running Lisa's crepes and waffles at Christmas Village for three years now. Well, it means a tremendous amount. I think it's the best Christmas event in the city, almost. It kind of rounds out all the holiday activities, gives people a place to go and a tradition. Christmas Village isn't the only thing at Love Park. The centerpiece of Christmas Village this year is the 38-foot tree behind me. It's filled with over 5,000 lights and 600 ornaments. Those 5,000 lights were lit by Mayor Michael Nutter and his wife Lisa at the city's annual tree lighting. Happy Holidays! The event was filled with sing-alongs, dance performances, and speeches. The tree lighting is one of Mayor Nutter's favorite activities. Oh, I think, I mean, when you look at the, uh, the array of the crowds that we had, people from all over the place, I'm sure, in the city, from the suburbs, people just uh, really come together uh, in a wonderful way at holiday time for citizens. So, I like Christmas tree lighting. Even Mr. Claus himself has a home away from home at Christmas Village. He gave us the inside scoop on what all the good little boys and girls are asking for this holiday season. It's all, all the different video systems, you know, the 360 you know, uh, and uh, iPods and the new uh, Nintendo DS 3D. Christmas Village is free and open until Christmas Eve. So if you're passing through Center City, check out the shops and take a picture in front of the tree. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Megan McNerney.